Business coach reacts to Simone Biles withdrawing from the Olympics. Recently, Simone Biles pulled out of the Olympics, walked off of the floor, and everybody has been talking about it since. I'm Amy Walker, I'm a small business strategist, and I have helped hundreds of entrepreneurs be able to grow their business to six figures and beyond. And I'm gonna tell you, I felt like there are a ton of lessons for business owners in this whole story that we've been watching play out. I had a pretty emotional response when I first heard the news and uh, when I watched her press conference. And so we're gonna watch that together today. And I'm gonna share with you what I think are the lessons that we should be learning as business owners. mindfulness and I knew that the girls would do an absolutely great job and I didn't want to risk the team a medal for uh, kind of my screw-ups because they've worked way too hard for that so I just decided that the, those girls need to go in and do the rest of the would have cost them a medal but that's okay so we need the, to talk the question to your teammates okay so let's pause it here so she talks about needing mindfulness she talks about that um, her screw-ups would have cost them a medal I don't actually think that's true however it is probably true that um, she was feeling like she was going to block the progress. And I think that's really relatable. A lot of business owners, when we're not at our best, but we try to still stay in that position of being in control, in charge, in the lead, uh, we do block the progress of our team. Now, I find this interesting how her teammates react to the experience. Action. Was it a shock when you realized that your teammate could not continue the competition? It was definitely something that was unexpected. Um, we were kind of emotional when we found out that she wasn't going to continue. And, you know, we all just had to put our minds in a great pos position because at the end of the day, we were just out there to show what we needed to show. And we put our... We went up and did what we did, and I'm just very proud that we were able to do that. So, you know, they admit that they had an emotional response. I imagine they were, like, freaking out. I mean, this is the person that they were banking on. Like, she was a part of the plan. When we put together a plan or a team or, you know, in business, like, every single person has their role to play and when one person just stops out it throws off the whole flow and the whole order of how everything goes so i think them saying that they were emotional is probably a little bit downplaying um but i also like their response that they just said but you know what we were here to do what we came to do and so they just got back to work and they got refocused and did the absolute best that they can Um, yeah, there was definitely a lot of emotions going through all of our heads, but I'm really proud that we were able to step up to the plate and do what we needed to do. It's very hard to lose a teammate, especially at the Olympic Games, so I was really proud of all of us because we were going through so much. We were very stressed, put a lot of pressure on ourselves, but we ended up coming back. Yeah, so when one person, when you have a team dynamic and one person opts out, it does create a ton of stress and a ton of pressure on everyone else. So let's talk about this. How, as you saw the videos and you watched the story played out, how did you feel? My first initial response was I felt like this heart clench and I pictured myself being in her shoes and I do not know that I would have had the strength and the fortitude to do what she did because I would have felt like I had to continue for the team. And I would, I could hear myself telling myself like, hey, it's only two weeks, you just gotta get through it, it's only two weeks. You know, you can do anything for two weeks and your team is counting on you and everybody needs you to do this and to step up. And I felt stress on her behalf, even though, I don't need to feel stressed on her behalf, but I see myself doing similar types of behaviors and it really is not healthy. And here's the thing that I love about Simone Biles is she doesn't have anything to prove to anyone else. She's already been on that podium a lot of times. And it's interesting how we feel this need that when something was good and it was working and it fulfilled us, that we feel pressure to have to continue that path. And when we do, sometimes it stops us from pursuing 
what's new and what's available for us because that is uncertain. And when we get to that spot where this is no longer working for us, it takes a lot of courage in order to make that change, in order to say, I'm willing to disappoint other people in order to show up for myself. Um, I think that's why I felt so strongly as I was watching this because I was thinking back to my journey as an entrepreneur and all of the times when I did not make the choice that she made. Um, I put my mental health and my well-being last and I put the client's needs and the team members needs and the demands of people at church and the demands of you know, all my kids extracurriculars and all that stuff. I put that front and uh, I found myself feeling really burnt out. Uh, I remember having a year where I just felt constant anxiety and I'd never had that before, but I would look around and I'd be like, there's literally nothing for me to be feeling anxious about, but my, ch my, my chest is tight, my heart is racing, and I can't seem to get myself together. Well, I just wanna tell you, that was not good for my business. It's not like you know us making that sacrifice to just push through is actually helpful for our business or for anyone around us. So in the short term, do we take a hit? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. In the short term, when you stand up for yourself and you say, I gotta take a day or I gotta pull out of this project or I have to say no to this opportunity, in the short term, you take a hit. But in the long run, you're creating a sustainable place of success. Simone's gonna go on to do great things wherever she decides to go next, and she doesn't have anything to prove to anyone. I don't feel like I've quite you know, reached that level of my accomplishment where I look at it and I'm like, boom, done everything I needed to do. I have nothing to prove to anyone. But I do have stuff to prove to myself. But one of the most important things that I want to prove to myself and that I would encourage you all to prove to yourselves is that we are willing to treat ourselves like a high performance athlete and rest when we need rest and pull back when that's what's best for us over the long haul because I don't know what would have happened, you know? Would she have gotten injured? Could she have uh, just made the team perform worse? Would they have, would, could she have pushed past it and they would have been great? None of us know, right? She doesn't even know. But what we do know is that we have the ability to say, I am going to honor myself every single day. And that in the long run and in the big picture, that is always what's most important. So uh, I would have had a very hard time doing that. I'm telling you right now, like I know my struggle would have been like, the team is counting on me. So suck it up, buttercup, and get it done. And I am impressed that she was strong enough to say, this is what's best for me and my team is gonna take care of things. That takes a high level of trust in your team and to be at peace with what the outcome is, that it was still a really great outcome. Like how many people would love to be the silver medalist? Like that's the dream, right? Um, now, was it exactly their dream? No, but was it still a good dream? Absolutely, yes. So that is my business coach reaction to Simone Biles. I find business advice everywhere, in movies, in current events, even just in everyday life, and I love sharing them with you. So I've got a couple of gifts here for you. Number one, go check out my sales tips from Tommy Boy video. Um, it's pretty fun, and there are actually some really good lessons uh, from watching Tommy Boy blow it up literally. And then number two, I would love to offer you a free copy of my sales and marketing GPS and get a customized improvement plan so that you can get clear on what you need to do next. If you want to learn more business principles from movies or current events, go check out the next video.